Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Trader Joe's haul and this time it is going to be foods specifically that I'm buying for my family. Um, in previous hauls that I've shot, I typically try to pick up all the new things that Trader Joe's has for that week or the last few weeks or I will do like a themed haul here and there um, to try to help you guys navigate Trader Joe's a little better. In this haul though, I am showing you guys exactly what I'm buying for my family, the foods that we typically eat. And I am branching out a little bit because we are going to Thailand and I wanted to start cooking a little bit more Thai food to get my family, especially my son who's 20 months old, a little bit more acclimated to the spices and the flavors that Thai food has in them. So you guys will see kind of the things that I've bought and the theme that I'm going with for these next couple months. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. All right guys, so here's an overview of everything I bought and I'm gonna go over this haul extremely quickly because there is just so much stuff because there's nothing in our house. So everything that's self-explanatory, I'm just gonna share with you and point it out. So here we go. Starting over here, some flour tortillas. Got some Middle Eastern flatbread. These I have not tried, but I can only assume are gonna be amazing. These are the brioche buns. And I got some burgers that I'm gonna show you guys in a second that I'm gonna use with these. And then my favorite sourdough bread, and this is just the sourdough sandwich bread. And this stuff is really good. It's super soft and great for sandwiches. Picked up some dill pickles. My fav absolutely number one favorite almond butter is this raw creamy almond butter and it, there is no salt in it. So all that's in here is just raw ground almonds. So that's why I love it and I put it on everything. I picked up two more cases of the seltzer water in the blood orange and orange juice. This by far is my husband and I's favorite flavor. Moving on, we got this brand new item in, this rice cauliflower bowl, and it has tahini, marinated chickpeas, sweet potatoes, baked tofu, and roasted onions, and I'm super excited to try this. It looks delicious. Here are the veggie burgers that I'm gonna use with the brioche buns, and I have not tried these, but so many customers swear by this, and they love these, so I'm gonna give them a try. And of course, it's Thai, so I needed to get Tons of Thai food for our Thailand vacation coming up here, so getting our taste buds and our palates ready. <laughs> and then I got my absolute favorite honey because I was completely empty now, so this is the organic raw honey. This is delicious, the best honey I've ever had, and it's way thicker than a normal honey, so it spreads very well on toast. Just got some sweet potatoes in a bag organic green beans, some zucchini, my favorite teeny tiny avocados, organic tomatoes on the vine, some green bell peppers, a bag of onions, and these are yellow onions, not the sweet ones. I got some blueberries, some peaches, and they come in a bag, and I found that the ones that come in a bag are a better deal than buying them individually. So that is why I did that. Just got some bananas, carrots, a bag of spinach, and this is probably one of the most popular produce items that is sold at Trader Joe's. So if you guys haven't tried it, it's really good. And then I'm gonna go back over here to the frozen. So I just replenished my stock on the peas. I always have these in my freezer because I love throwing them in pasta. I got two cans of organic coconut milk and this is so I can start doing Thai recipes like I have mentioned. Some chickenless mandarin orange morsels, I love these. I got the rice cauliflower stir fry, I've had this multiple times, it is very good. Cauliflower gnocchi, frozen stir fry veggies. I got four bottles of these. I'm currently drinking one of these, but these are the alkaline waters plus electrolytes, and I know you guys are gonna give me crap about having bottles, but um, this is the only way I know how to get alkaline electrolyte water, so correct me if I'm wrong there. I had to get a almond beverage, which I always buy pretty much every week, because that's our milk. And then I'm gonna come back down here. So I got 
While we were shopping, I got Benson one of these bars and he really liked it, so I picked up a couple more for him to just snack on. And I got myself my favorite Perfect Bars in the chocolate and peanut butter flavor. I got some tofu to put in some stir fries that I'm gonna be making this week. Some uncured smoked bacon for Tim and he also wanted me to pick him up some ham so I got him the Black Forest ham. This is uh, the most popular ham that Trader Joe's sells. People really love this ham because it's uncured and there are no nitrates or nitrites in this so um, it's, a be it's better for you. And then got some more string cheese. This is brand new, so I wanted to try this. This is just an antipasto Mediterranean vegetable. Um, these are marinated and they slide out like this so you guys can see what they look like. So there's a glare on there, sorry. But it looks like there are artichoke, zucchini, eggplant, tomatoes, and they're in olive oil and some oregano it looks like. So. What it says on the package is you can put these on like a pizza. I think I might throw these in a salad actually. Um, not the whole thing obviously because there's kind of a lot, but I think these um, artichoke hearts would be really good in a salad. And then there's also a second version of the same type of thing and it is sun-dried tomatoes. I do not like sun-dried tomatoes. I like regular tomatoes, so I didn't get that one, but these are in the grocery aisle, so they are not refrigerated or anything. They're just shelf stable and it's like this thin too. So you guys see, if you like this, pick it up. This is also a brand new item and I'm super excited about this. This is called the Mid-East Style Feast. And there are four sections here and in each section, let me see if I can show you. So there's the hummus, some great uh, stuffed grape leaves. This looks like a tomato cracked bulgur wheat salad. And then the last thing is lentil salad. So you guys can see the four things in there. And that's why I picked up the flatbread because I thought this would be good with it. I also got some egg salad to make sandwiches with this week. Some salsa especial in medium. This is really good. It's like restaurant style and you can pretty much put it on anything. And then I grabbed a couple different yogurts to try this week. I got the um, vanilla bean, blueberry. This one was really good. I've tried this one before, the almond butter coconut one. Delicious. And then I just got some strawberry yogurts for Benson. And then I picked up my typical coffee creamer that I always have. There's the vanilla and hazelnut. I still have hazelnut in the fridge, so I needed the vanilla flavor. I got another cold pressed juice, um, and this is Benson's like favorite thing, and he's getting tons of veggies with this, so I like getting these now, because he's really loving them. And then I got this very green juice smoothie. I picked up some nuts, the Cashew Macadamia Delight Trek mix, and Tim and I are gonna start eating more nuts and trying to get a little bit healthier, and this is a good segue into that because there are macadamia nuts, there is dried pineapple, all delicious things, and I'm not the biggest fan of nuts, so I have to ease into it, so. I also picked up some organic broccoli florets. These are frozen, and they're just a staple in our freezer at all times. I got Tim some turkey burgers and some soft frozen pretzels. This is going on our sixth bag now. Some Chipotle vegetable quesadillas. These are also frozen. They're delicious with guacamole and um, they are easy to make. Just pop them in the microwave. Lastly, I grabbed these new Pro-Yo low-fat ice creams. These are brand new to Trader Joe's and they each have 35 grams of protein per container. They're a little bit lower calorie than a regular ice cream as well, so I thought I'd try these since we're trying to be a little healthier. And I got these three flavors, so there are also two other flavors as well, but I felt like this cookies and cream flavor looked really good, so I wanted to try this. So we got cookies and cream. I also picked up the chocolate chip cookie batter, and lastly, the salted caramel crunch. The other two flavors were mint chip and double dutch chocolate. So here's the overview of everything I bought once again. Lots of stuff, but we did need to replenish our fridge. <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed that haul. I kind of zoomed through it because I think for the most part it's pretty self-explanatory. 
I did want to say if you guys have any great Thai recipes, please comment them down below. I am trying to make more Thai food for my family. If you guys have any go-to recipes, let me know. Um, even if they have meat, I can always substitute with tofu or something like that. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.